It is part of an ancient tradition. Old as civilization itself. The clash of swords. The roar of the crowd. From great distances they have been summoned. The finest Dota teams that the game has ever known. Destined to battle at the International. Sixteen teams will wage war for their piece of the largest prize pool in the history of competitive gaming. The eyes of the world turn to the International's new home of Key Arena. Those about to clash prepare themselves for the trials to come. Who will emerge victorious? The battle begins. But they're going to take Rojan nonetheless. Wei is going to buy back. They're going to TP in. But TC's down for 60 seconds. He got a couple of kills when he jumped back into the engagement. But Wei Tzu is just throwing a shot pit right now. He's got Fisher. He's about to use it. Can he steal this Aegis? Oh, the Enchant Totem. He grabs he it. it. He gets it. And he gets the Aegis as well. Unbelievable. He got the kill. The time walk in. The Chronosphere from Demon Universe. Taking a lick in the right click. Bringing him down low. Wei Tzu has jumped in as well with the Aegis. Now the Meld Strike. Two dead. Mason is alone. He pops the BKB, but to no avail. Quite the cleaning up. Unbelievable play from way too sexy. What? Oh, Run they're picking out on mid. They want to relocate. Easy. Better run forward. He has a cold snap. Sunstrike gets snaking. Snaking gets very low. He picks up as well. Snaking may go down. The fourth bridge will be enough. DDC gets one. So can he get some more? He will indeed. And Koro, he's going to go down to three for nothing. DDZ will be brought down by... No, the heal, the quest. 12 HP. He barely survived. Oh no, mid, mid, Zai in danger of being caught with the dragon tail through anybody. BKBs, he can go for a black hole here. The Chronos on two, three in fact. Universe caught them all. And now RTK, he's brought down. Super's out of the fight. It's three, four dead for Beachy. Zylar on the run. Can he TP out? No! EG get them all. Universe does it again. Perfect Chronosphere. Bushi, they just silenced Bushi. He could be in real trouble game. right now. Oh, Moonlight Shadow, he walks right straight now. up next to him. It's almost worth a straight Ravage, but RTG comes in for the Hex. The link is on, and Mushi, are they going to commit Ravage? He's running himself away, but 140, 168 points, 198. This too much. They can actually have enough damage in RTG to kill a Bushi. The Ghost is protecting him quickly. Can he evade? He can't silence. You also have the Earth up, Mushi. A 200 life points. He's in taking it around. He's going to TP. Oh He's gonna be body blocking up some of these camps he now. They're coming over, the and there it go. is. You're gonna get Funnick as well. They've got two corps in this one. The arrow's hitting, and a boss tanks it. No backtrack. When it comes in, he's got last two, but the Fiends can hold him there. And oh, he's Coro! Holy Hannah! D9 evaporate! Envy's gonna go down too. It's a triple kill for Dandy. Look at what Ned is doing. He's crawling the wave. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the push is over, says Ned. You might get a tier two, but that's where it ends. Well played. Well, I think he needs to get out now. Maybe end the shots one time, and then... All right. <laughs> Just the TP. There you go. That's... Oh, he gets unstriked. Oh! oh no! What's the plays? I right like a crack. Enough damage, and it is. They bring him down. Now jumping up towards Aoi. Letting that he's only going to work. The buyback has already come out from Zing Zing. Rejoining the engagement. And clockwork! Back oh, I got three! The Hawk! The walls will come down, however. A boss. He's dying inside the double kill. The bones have been funny. Trying to TV out. He's got enough time. No, he doesn't. But it looks like it's Shan Shun that's going to be out of position. Ravage on oh, the Fisher breaks it up. They're going to get one kill. The mech's going to come in a little bit slow. KYXY, he waves in. He wants Xiao Wei, and he gets Xiao Wei before the Ravage. KYXY, is he going to die as a result? He's going to make it out. The duck is going to come in again. Moose dropping low. You've got to get a kill on Moon. In fact, they do. KYXY back in the fight, and it's they kill Luna. One more time. Extinct the hero of that fight for short. Sure. 
continue on that path right now. DZ at bottom, he's actually getting, looking to work on a possibly site of fight, but also possibly in a very bad position right now. Ooh, DDZ. Cold snap actually evokes to it, but doesn't get to use it. He's getting first down by absolutely everything. Kills the attempting blast, the combo destroys Skyrath and Enigma. Burning also, though he's shattered. Four heroes dead, and Loka with an ultra kill from the grave. You can't kill a king who's dead. Now, Lua is going to start chasing down Yamate, and they can even Chronosphere here in here. But the rest of the team is coming in. He does have a reincarnation. It's not that big of a loss. The upcoming fight is really what's going to determine it. That's why Ferrari's holding onto his Chronosphere. He's going to latch onto Yamate once again. Now, Ohio has actually been silenced up. He's not going to be able to get a pull, and there goes the carry already. KYXY fighting up against everybody. Doesn't have a use anymore. Trying to keep himself alive with the mech, but being brought back by the X marks the spot, and that is the end of him. Yamate's going to come back for another fight. Skyrest is going off, but Lua is still alive. Finally, he goes down, but that's just the agent. He's going to come back in a second. Yamate fighting up. Against Ferrari, the match is too much, but now KYX West, Yamate, they have to win this fight together. They both fought back. They need to get something out of this, but it doesn't look like they can pursue. IG are still the stronger team right now in this fight. Well, maybe with the Yules, they're going for it. Yamate, oh, he doesn't have his reincarnation. This could be a disaster. He gets the kill with a Fury on the life deal. He's doing so much to get the hex on the little Yamate could stay alive here. There goes the chorus. Oh Staying alive he even further than Armwood. He's done it. Yeah, not the easiest thing to work. That's the wall. Oh, oh, what a hook! What a hook oh. by Trixie! The play! Oh. That's that was the thing you gorgeous. See, like, six, year ago, six years ago in like combo videos, where right? like in Pudge video, you just be like, alright. That is that is one of the, the finer tricks of playing Pudge. As a creep is about to die, you throw the hook. Yep. yep. And then the creep dies, and the hook goes through, and everyone! Oh, <laughs> reel him in! And chop him up! Trixie yeah, heating up! Yeah. They're gonna risk it. Alliance are streaming towards the pit. They've got a zip from S4. Bulldog's at the ready as well. Will they jump? The Roche is low. In they go. It's too oh! late. It's next. It's not too late after all the radiant get the last hit, but the age is going the way of Alliance. It's trouble right now as Dendi pops in the pit. No slithering may fail. The tier fours, Navi have had enough. Come and fight base us, race. Alliance! It's a base race! It's Lota in mid, and the last of Denny install this one! Starvage number one will fly, they're still in Aegis, and the Ravage, it's been stolen by EGM! He can throw it back out, he will do so! They're stalling for Lota, the Rex has to be low, the throw is exposed, and I don't know if Navi can do this in time, Dendi's they lose the Rapier, Dendi's fallen, and the Roche for the Aegis! It's not enough to hold the base, but they get the throw! GG, Alliance, the Gambit all in! It can't do it! They fall short. He's gonna keep this battle going oh, with the call snap. Zara's right. Finds MV. ROTK holds something himself in on the blink dagger. Four stopping MV up. It's not far enough though. It's a dead buyback. And they go through more. I don't know if there's any more fight here in C9. The Skyrim made Dolman trying to chip away here at BG Gaming. But they turn around. Blink! A triple Zara's right from MY! He's got a hole! So, Zanata is now on a force at the lane, and Boo jumps in, gets the Drunken Brawler straight away, and he's being prepped up by F1, but he's already lost his teammate. The Ice Blast! Ice Blast! Ice Blast! Ice Blast! This can do some work! Sunshine will go down from this one, but the Brewmaster Split's already gone, and F1, he's out of mana, and he's locked down to the river. Super was coming in to try and help out, but with the mass of mods in range of the tier 1 tower, the Plague Wars being prepped up, Super, he tries, he hunts Banana being picked up, throw it down, he's got a time lapse, time lapse, time lapse! Yes! He gets it off, Shikuchi out, but the Sentry Ward's still there, they can see him, he has to use his mod charges, he's so low on life, no Shikuchi, he goes down as well. There's two Plague Wars, and GG! 15 minutes in, it's over, Nubi convincingly moving their way through the win bracket, and they will take the victory against VG Gaming here at TI4. They look shaky in game number one, but they prove why they are the champions of the international. 3-1 the victory, over $5 million. Won by Xiao Wei and the crew. Sunsheng, Hal, Banana and Moo. They are your champions.